This video is sponsored by Squarespace. No! Those are his yachts. No, no, don't look at the feet. <laughs> oh no, he's hitting the good stuff. What the hell? Spore is a game that came out in 2008 where you start as a little cellular creature and evolve into an animal that walks on land, forms tribes, then cities, all the way up until you can build spaceships and travel to other planets and stuff. But I wasn't really interested in all that because most of my time was spent in the creature creator. It let you twist the body into weird shapes, place arms and legs wherever you want, and it had a big library of parts that gave you more freedom than any other character creator I had ever seen before. Plus, you didn't have to be an expert builder to have fun making cursed abominations beyond your comprehension. And this is why it's still relevant enough for people to make videos about it all the time, even though there was never really a sequel and updates ended over a decade ago. If you saw the video where I recreated the Me Maker, then you already know I love character creators from video games, and you probably know where this video is headed. <laughs> but instead of making an accurate recreation like I did with the Me Maker, I want to do my own take on the creature creator with custom parts. I actually already started making a creature creator at the beginning of 2023, worked on it for a few months, and then forgot about it until now. So here's the state it's in right now. For the body, I made a geometry node setup that lets you draw a curve, give it varying thickness, and then it gets remeshed so that it looks a little cleaner. I made a few different thickness profiles with these float curve nodes for making deliberate body shapes, but you can also use a noise texture for something more random. And Blender already has built-in controls for changing a curve thickness with the shortcut Alt-S, so I made sure that was working too. And because it gets remeshed at the end, that means you can make more than one curve to get really wacky shapes. I used a similar setup for the arms and legs so you can move the curve around or draw it and then it gets remeshed, but the difference here is that it sticks a hand or a foot at the end of the curve. So I had to model a few hands and feet and then make a way to switch between which ones it's using. For all of the face parts, it was mostly down to modeling a variety of fun shapes. So there aren't that many right now, but I do have some mouths, eyes, noses, and eyebrows as placeholders. The setup for the part switcher is pretty simple and similar to what I did for the Me Maker. Select the collection that the parts are in and then delete everything except the part you want to use. For the eyes, I tried adding eyelid controls as well as eye bags, and right now I only have spherical eyes, so it might not work if I make different eye shapes later on. Also, I made this exoskeleton limb tool in an attempt to make things like insect legs, mechanical parts, and bones. I added all of these tools to the asset library so that I could drag and drop them into the scene, and then I set snapping up here so that they will snap to each other and rotate properly. So coming back to this project over a year later, I already have something that works pretty well. Well enough that I've actually used this to make characters for a few videos already. But it is in rough shape and it's still not good enough for me, and I have lots of ideas for how I can make it better. After some testing from me and some friends, I ended up with a pretty ambitious to-do list. I'd like to make it as accessible as the Me Maker clone, but there are just too many limitations. Like the Me Maker has a set amount of parts, you know, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, all of which can have their own bone to be parented to, allowing for much easier control. But Spore lets you decide how many of each part you want, and lets you change the size and shape and much much more, so I can't use the same setup as the Me Maker without removing a bunch of control unless I code something, and I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. I can definitely make the user experience better though, and I'll try to put some training wheels on it, but I just have to accept that people will need to know a little more about Blender to use this comfortably. I'll at least make a cheat sheet to help people out. Okay, so mostly what I want to do is make more parts. Like, way more parts. That's the main thing that will make it better. Modeling parts is also going to take the most time, so let's get to it. Alright, so it's been about a week and a half and I made a good amount of new parts, as well as some new categories, and I made this part viewer so people can browse the parts more easily. I tried to make the UI a little better by putting the commonly used options at the top and added this option that keeps parts in the center and only lets them rotate on one axis so people can make creatures look more precise. I added a bunch more assets, including these two hair tools. One is for drawing strands of hair, and this one is better for modeling puffy hair. One of my favorite things I figured out was this setup that makes parts look like they're attached to each other. These are actually separate objects, as you can see from the wireframe, but it makes it look almost like it's being remeshed. What's happening is the part is inheriting the normal data from the body and putting it onto the faces that are close to it. 
It's also shrink wrapping a little so that it looks good from the side too. I didn't really figure out a good way of rigging it or retopologizing automatically, so I wouldn't say it's optimized for animation, but it is really fun for making quick concepts, and I didn't do any retopology for characters that I put in my videos. I'd like to add more parts and features, but I'm getting close to my deadline, so I have to move on. If you want to try it out, you can download it on Gumroad. The full version has all the parts from this video, or if you'd rather make your own parts, then you can get the free version, which has most of the tools and part switchers. Now I guess the true test to see if this is any good is to give it to a bunch of people on Discord and see what they think. Alright, so I'll name a character and you'll have 10 minutes to make it. Ready? The first one, Squidward. Oh no! SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. It turned out he could not do this. What I learned in boating school is... <laughs> oh, this is gonna go terribly. I believe in you. I believe in my enemies. Two minutes. Oh. The clock is ticking. Oh, you're going for handsome Squidward, I see. <laughs> <laughs> People, how did you do that thing with the hand? Is it free? It's in no, it's rotation. Uh, you can remove your card now, sir. All right, time's <laughs> up. Show me what you got. Oh, which way to the living without a brain seminar? Don't be light. <laughs> All right, for the next one, we have the aliens from Toy Story. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's alien time. It's little gremlin. He's a goblinoid. That clap. Looking good, Titan. <laughs> Looking smelly. Nose picker. It's got Popeye arms. It looks like a bootleg <laughs> minion. This looks like a fanboy and chum chum character. Yo, he got him with his shirt off. <laughs> what are you doing? What's he doing? <laughs> Time's up. The fact that it's a picture of the screen kind of like gives it a menacing aura. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's big, oh. big, big bird. Big <laughs> bird. Oh, dang. Big bird. It's your favorite bird in media. Mine's red from the hit video game Angry Bird. <laughs> Go over to the racing sure one as well. Like I want to pour it. Angry Birds yeah, racing. You know what? Frick the eyebrows. Frick the ears. Mother <laughs> trucker, dude. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Oh, man. Have you ever seen that? Uh. Looks like a whole bunch of Homer Simpson. <laughs> T-Ball, you're just duplicating all the hair. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I might just do that. It's a cool effect. Like, it actually yeah. works. It looks like there's a fungus. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> like a Five Nights of Funkin' animatronic. So Why is it so small? It. <laughs> so far away. It's a big bird's baby bird. Yours looks like Lemon Hope kind of <laughs> <laughs> macaroni. He gets the win for this one. That's what it looks That's like. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, these are great. Uh, this is fabulous, guys. All right. Yeah. The next yeah. one, Wolverine. Oh, Wolverine. oh my god. Bro. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Bag, guys. Yeah, it's a good a, idea. A neat thing with those. The eyebrows, yeah. yeah. T-Ball, yours is great so far with those eyes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> They look like sad eyebrows, kind of. Uh, I really dig the pose. Time's up. This one, he's got little hands on his <laughs> yeah, yeah. Super menacing. Nice I clothing. I everything I've done. <laughs> Canonically accurate, though, right? Oh, because beautiful. he has uh, bone claws. The original bone claws. The next one is the Xenomorph Alien. Oh, from god. Alien. Oh, the Xenomorph? Oh, yeah. bro. The right. time they're crazy. These, these, these are spooky. like getting exponentially more complicated. <laughs> that's, how, that's how it goes. Nah, bro. Good luck. Good time luck, to cook. Everybody. I thought you were. I thought you guys were doing killer whales. Like, oh, oh, my oh my god. god. Time is up. It's gonna be the beautiful. Freaking awesome. Yeah, these all look really good. Got the little mouth in the, in the big mouth. Briggs is actually pretty great, man. Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar no, from the no. hit arch movie. Jar Jar, Jar, Jar from Ooh, the Star Wars. This War. guy. Danny, yeah, yours, yours is great so far. It's going, it's going pretty smoothly. <laughs> Beautiful These Jar Jar. These parts are fitting in very nice. Sam, that is very cursed. <laughs> okay, buddy. No, 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 no. Real muscular. Yeah, he's probably the strongest Star Wars yep. character. Buy some clothes from the Darth Maul. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Time oh, is up. Bro, he's hitting the good stuff. No, what the hell? Oh god. <laughs> oh, perfect. Whoa. Birdo. No, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna believe it. We can do that. Uh, do this. Right. this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Oh. You all know about this? <laughs> You all know yeah, about so Squarespace? Weird. I use it all the time. Why don't you tell us about it, Joey? Oh, okay. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform where you can buy your URL, make a website, and get it hosted all in one place. Some kind of Squarespace? Have you never heard of Squarespace? Joey, see, this guy never heard of Squarespace. I think he should you tell You haven't me. heard of Squarespace? <laughs> no. Uh, make a website to sell products, grow your brand, make a portfolio. They have a bunch of professionally designed website templates with many categories, so chances are, whatever type of 
of website you want to make, they already have a template for it. Then you can just change the design to add your personal touch to it. Squarespace saved my marriage, my life. You have three minutes, by the way. You know what you could do in three minutes with Squarespace oh, if you oh use their God. blueprint <laughs> AI and SEO tools? It's basically like a quiz that helps you get your website started really fast, including a bunch of the text portions. And it makes sure more people will find your website more often. That's what SEO means. It stands for Search Engine Optimization. Uh, Joey, is their Fluid Engine better than Blender's Fluid Simulator? It's much better than the Blender Fluid Simulation. And their Fluid Engine lets you drag and drop elements wherever you want, so you have maximum control. And you can use custom CSS if you want to take it even further and make people motion sick by spinning your buttons around. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash Joey Carlino to save 10% off your first website or domain. Are you reading this off an email? I just no. heard the word it's lunch and I got hungry. Squarespace.com slash Joey Carlino. All right, time is up. Oh, yeah. My Brito is done, guys. Excellent. <laughs> I hate looking at this creature I've made. Oh, that was supposed to be a tail. Don't look at the feet. <laughs> I'll have to blur that out. Don't look at the feet. Garf Garf eel. Almost looks like a cat. Uh, <laughs> it looks like a baby or something. What do you like do if, baby your baby proportions? Was, if your baby popped out and looked like this? Look like Garfield? I'd have those, to leave. Big, I'd leave. I'd, I'd just be out of there. Sandsfield. I like his big buck teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a pretzel. Yeah. It looks like a yogurt pretzel. Oh, we're going to hell, Charlie. Oh, I'm so happy. Has anyone here seen seen Garfield? What do you mean, like in person? No. <laughs> IRL. Time is up. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that's oh my god, mustache. that's scary. No. <laughs> the mustache is on the back. No. Those are his young, his pupas. <laughs> Is he holding like an imaginary baby? Imaginary <laughs> lasagna. <laughs> but it kind of reminds me of ah, real monsters. Weird little naked guy who holds his eyeballs. Holds his eyes. Yeah. What do you mean weird little naked guy? <laughs> yeah, that what guy. What do you mean by oh, that? That's the guy. Invade Joey. Invade Joey. Rapidly approaching your location. So there's definitely a lot of room for improvement, but remember what I said I liked about the spore creature creator? It let you twist the body into weird shapes and place arms and legs wherever you want. It had a big library of parts and you didn't have to be an expert to have fun making cursed creations. So I think my creature creator definitely succeeded in these ways. I'd like to add a lot more parts and better options for hair, clothing, and accessories. So if you'd like to support this project and see more videos about it, download it from Gumroad, share this video around, and leave a comment with your favorite creature emoji. I'll also put a video on the second channel about how to use it and how it all works. I'd like to thank my patrons for their support, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a good one.